Coming to you live from the palatial studios of PBJ Productions. Welcome to Patrick and BJ Talk Real Estate, where we talk about life, the universe, and everything as it relates to real estate. Hey everybody, it's BJ. And Patrick. And we're back talking all things real estate. Thank you for joining us today. Today we are talking about the most Googled questions about real estate. Well, that's exciting, isn't it? I don't know. We've done like Googled questions before. We have, yeah. And I've been surprised that like people actually ask that. Yeah. But it's like, I don't think about a lot of, you know, what those questions might be. Right. It's like, I already kind of know what the answer is, right? Yeah. But this is what people are looking for. Yeah. So, so we've got three uh, of them. Yeah. So I, l let me start with one of them. Yeah. Which is uh, when, uh, when are the prices coming down? When is the market you know, coming down. Right. So are people asking for like a prediction? Really? So like we can't predict the market. Sure. What, what's yeah. the saying is like you can't time the market. You have to you have to spend time in the market. OK. Yeah. Right. So <clears throat> buy your house, even if it goes up, it goes down. Uh, you're going to build equity over time and you're going to be happy you bought it five years ago when everybody sure. thought the prices were too high and now the prices are even higher. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and I, I think the thing we've said this repeatedly is uh, the best time to buy is when you need to buy. And if you need to buy a home right now and you, you know, you have to figure out the budgeting and the interest rates and all of those things, but then now is the right time to buy because in this market where we are on, on Vancouver Island, um, what we're seeing is the prices have adjusted somewhat because of, um, the interest rates and, yeah, we had and a, what we're seeing, right? We had a bit of a shock with interest rates and right. then, you so know, the increase and increase and increase and right. now so, they've slowed that down. Right. And so we're at about, I think, 10%, right? Is that about what the price drop has been roughly in the yes, market? Yes, yes. Overall, you could say 10%. So roughly we've seen about a 10% drop in, in prices. However, when the interest rates adjust, guess what? You mean when they go down again? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to go back up again. Sure. I mean, the prices. Right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, when uh, when will the prices start to shift? We can't really predict that. But based on what we know right now, which is uh, interest rates are not m making another move one way or the other in the foreseeable immediate foreseeable future. Yeah. And I would also add the government and the federal bank institutions they don't make it easier for people to buy. Obviously, it was easier to buy 20 years ago, right? We could mm -hmm. do like 0% down yep. and um, a 40-year mortgage, <laughs> right? So those things have been taken away. We've come up with like, uh, now they want minimum down payments. Sure. They want you to be insured. It's not, it's, it's not a requirement. Um, but they're going to make it harder. Uh, what They have the stress test. So, yep. you know, even if the interest rate is 5.5%, uh, 5%, they make you qualify for 2% more than that. So yeah. they're going to continue making it more difficult. So you'll have to either go to like a B lender or a C lender if you're a, you know, considered a more risky client right. to buy that house. Sure. So, you know, if, if you, if you can do it now, I don't mean go buy a house, like the first house you see, but like yeah. you start looking seriously uh, at, at real potential homes. Sure. Not just, Oh, well, Patrick and BJ said, I need to buy a house right now. And by the first thing that you see, no, 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 not at all. Like, just don't take years to do it. Yeah, because I think we've talked about this before, too. The market in the greater Victoria area and the history of it is that when there's been a downturn in the market, typically within 12 to 18 months, there's been a rebound where the market is rebounded past where the market was before that downturn. Oh yeah. So every single time. Right. Yeah. So re based on history, I would say we're looking at, you know, the, the market's going to start trending in the opposite direction here as we go forward. Um, when exactly is that happening? Well, I can tell you that right now there are some properties again, that are priced right, uh, that are in good locations that are ending up in multiple offers even here. Well, yeah, I, and I think like obviously, right? Like not except you know the unusual ones, busy roads, maybe not. Um, but people still keep co coming to Victoria and Vancouver Island. Right. It's a desirable place to live. Right. It's a little bit of a pain coming and going from here because you know we're an island, uh, but people love it here. 
we have a positive net migration. I know a lot of young people leave either for schooling or for work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, everybody wants to, not everybody, but like a lot of people want to come back out here, sure. live here, right? Return home. <clears throat> yeah. So. One of my clients uh, years ago, she was moving back here from wherever on the mainland and, yeah. and we had a good chuckle. She said, yeah. She said, um, you know, all of us that were actually, you know, born here and grew up here and, you know, we went off to school and build our careers and whatever we did because um, she had a young son. She said, we're kind of like salmon. We come back to spawn. Come back to spawn. Yeah, that's so, right. Come back home, right? right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's question number one. That's number one. We kind of talked about when will it go down? Yeah. Yeah. Realistically, it's not going down. I think everything we're saying, like it, it might take a, a slight at, at some point, but it's, it, like you said, it rebounds. And it's trending. Right. You know, the thing is, it's all, it's been trending in an upward cycle for a long time. And I've been hearing about the bubble bursting here since 2010. Oh yeah, my first open house. I had, uh, so, some person, per, uh, this man walked in, maybe he was a little grumpy at the prices back then. Okay, so house. when was this now? Back then, back Two, when? Back when, 2004. Okay. So I would have done open houses for our past president, uh, okay. Gary McKee. I was, I was in like high school then, I think. Yeah, well, then I was, <laughs> and I was a fetus. <laughs> Right, but he's like, no, 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 it's all going to crash. And this is, prices are too high. It's like, that's 20 years ago now. 18 years ago. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah. calling it 20. Yeah, already, yeah, sure. Right? Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. And I'm going to say this. Even with COVID, with the numbers, with Bonnie Henry every single day going up there and telling people, look at the numbers on Vancouver Island and, and, and uh, news channels across the country, they would be pointing at the East Coast and the West Coast with our numbers being so low. And where do you think people are moving like in the past two and a half years? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have moved uh, back east. If it's Nova Scotia, Dartmouth, Halifax, something, whatever there is, St. Yeah. John's. Um, and here, so, you know, it's kind of like a bad situation, but it was always sh uh, shined a good light on us. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, next one. When will it get better? When will it get better? Well, okay, better for who? Well, okay, if you're, let's say you're a first time home buyer and you're wondering, or you haven't owned a home in a long time, but yeah. you live here, you rent here, yeah. uh, and you're thinking about buying, is when will it get better? Thinking, they probably think, well, prices are probably out of reach for them. Well, it is what it is. The housing market is what it is here. It's not going to, we're not going to see a significant decrease in home prices in the greater Victoria area, not foreseeable. Okay, something could happen, right? We could have some kind of major economic catastrophe um, that could affect prices and that we aren't looking for or expecting. Beyond getting invaded from the U.S. Right. or something. Yeah, something un right. completely unforeseeable. Yeah, if right? there, so if there's no alien invasion of Earth, then it's probably it is what it is. Isn't that happening now? It's UFOs are, are there. The, are there aliens? The news? Yeah. Or, yeah, it's kind of a pathetic invasion so far, but they haven't done much then. I have no idea. Yeah, I they don't go know. to Vegas, right? Land in people's backyards. Okay, I'll take your word. I know that's it. totally like off topic, right? right? Sure. <laughs> right. Um, if 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 you're looking at if you're a first time <clears throat> home buyer, you're looking at houses that are too much money. You know what? Uh, don't focus on your dream house. Get into the market. Yeah. And that's a great point. And step your way up. Yeah, that's a great point. You know, Start maybe, somewhere. Uh, I had a client, single mom. Uh, she bought a mobile home. She lived in it, I don't know how many years, seven, eight years now, right? Sold it. Uh, and now she's moved to the prairies and she's buying a house like for the equity that she's built up sure. in a mobile home. Yeah. Now, I'm, or, you know, she's left Victoria or Vancouver sure. Island. But there's but the other uh, side of it is where, uh, you know, I had... Uh, well, they're still my clients, but he, um, you know, the first home that they bought, it was uh, a townhouse. Yeah. And, um, you know, it was what they could afford. But then, I don't know, call it four years later, he came to me, we're, we're, we're ready to, you know, move. They, they moved to another townhouse, but a brand new one, really nice townhouse. Yeah. Um, and they were able to do that because there's some equity that got created and they, um, they're, you know, income went up and things like that happened and they took, you know, they, they put some money away for it. And so they were able to, 
um, upgrade their home. And I guess the point is, like you said, it's it's not about getting into your dream home right at the start. Yeah. If you're a first time buyer, if you're getting back into the market, start where you're at and then move the process forward from there. Right? Yeah, build your equity up. Uh, I did I did this when I bought my condo. I didn't end up selling it for years afterwards, but I pulled the equity and bought a house with it. Sure. So Yeah. And so at the end of the day, I guess what I'm saying is I don't think, I think this is it. There's not a, it's going to get better where the market flattens right out and it's better only for the buyers. It's not going to be, it may get, you know, where we were before with the seller's market where it was just, you know, walk in the door. Do we like it? Because we need to write an offer today. Yeah. And pay so much money over right. the asking price. Right. Yeah. That was a crazy time. Yeah. So, you know, that may come back, but really flattening out, I don't see that happening again. No. no. So, so yeah, when will it get better? It, it, it is what is, it is. It is what it is. Yeah. That's our answer for that one. Okay. That's, there we go. That's is that th it? That's three. That's all three? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Um, again, if you haven't, please take a minute and um, like the channel. Helps us get the word out. If you know anybody that you think would uh, benefit from the information, please let them know. Send them a link to the video. Also, you can register for our newsletter and you'll be kept up to date with everything that we're doing. We do have a book coming out. So we, we want to make sure that you know about it. And it's a book that'll help you with real estate, answer real estate questions for you and uh, give you some real practical, uh, helpful information. So we, it's not just fluff. It's not just because we didn't have anything else to do. So it will help you, but just uh, make sure you get the, the newsletter so that you can get that information or you can put your information in the uh, contact info or reach out to us directly. If you have anything that you'd like us to talk about, let us know. We're happy to pick up other uh, subjects as well. Yeah, no, I don't. You know what? There could be some like really unusual topics that we haven't thought about. Sure, so that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you again for joining us, and uh, look out for us next time. Awesome. See you in the next video. See you.